When the world was ready, why did life choose brains over bodies? The land was rich. Forests covered the earth. Oxygen filled the air. Everything was set for life to grow bigger. And for a time, it did. Giants ruled the land through strength and size. But that strategy didn't last. When conditions shifted, size became a weakness. What survived wasn't power. It was adaptability. Smaller creatures responded faster. They remembered dangers. They recognized patterns. Instead of growing larger, they grew smarter. Warmth no longer depended only on sunlight. Safety no longer depended on strength. Living together increased survival. The most important change wasn't visible on the outside. It happened inside. Memory carried experience forward. Learning prevented mistakes from repeating. Each generation started ahead of the last. Hunting became planning. Escape became strategy. Survival became cooperation. Life was no longer only reacting to the planet. It was anticipating it. This chapter marks the moment intelligence took the lead. Next, we move closer to ourselves. In the coming chapter, we'll see how thinking sharpens into awareness. How curiosity, communication, and imagination begin to shape life's path. We are nearing the most defining part of this journey. Stay with us. The Seeking Tribe continues.